Queen's Gambit declined, modern, knight defense, 5.e3c66.nf3. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered black in the middle game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. By using the e pawn to protect the key d5 pawn, e6 rejects the queen's gambit. Nc3 puts more pressure on the d5 square and helps control the e4 square. Nf6 defends the d5 pawn and controls the e4 square. Bg5 develops the bishop and pins the knight on f6 the knight cannot move without losing the queen. Nbd7 develops the knight toward the center and defends the knight on f6. E3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. When c6 is played, the d5 pawn is supported and the queen can grow on the queen's side. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, defends the pawn on d4 and controls the e5 square. It is the last book move. This pins the other side's knight to the king, rendering it immobile. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. There is a better way to get a bishop to safety than this. It is incorrect. This ignores an opportunity to capture a free pawn. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This protects a bishop who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is quite good. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing knight. It is good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. This permits the opponent to prevent castling. It is a mistake. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. This ignores a better way to move a knight to safety. This allows the opponent to prevent castling. It is an inaccuracy. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. This move makes it so the opponent cannot castle, inhibiting their development. This is the only move that works. This threatens to play checkmate. It is a great move. This prevents the adversary from playing checkmate. It is ideal. That was a truly amazing move. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is brilliant. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is best. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. Thus, a forced checkmate is possible. It is incorrect. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only good move. It is brilliant. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered black in the middle game. 